All right, guys, so this is a basic virtual training on how to do a virtual demo for new trainees. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, guys, a couple quick things on the virtual before I uh, really get into too much detail. I just want you to know and understand that a virtual demo is no different than a live demo. I'm not going to teach you anything that you don't already know from training. There are a couple, however, nuances and little differences between a live and a virtual. So that's really what I'm going to cover today. And so with the virtual demo, when you call your customers, the first kind of little change you're going to want to make is you don't need to build rapport first. You want to build rapport while the demo is loading. So throughout this video, if you need to pause and take notes, I encourage you to do so. I will be speaking quickly um, with the understanding that you're going to pause and take notes on the different portions. If I say something that needs to be written down, just go ahead and pause the video, write it down, and then you can continue to play it. But uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So you give a call to Miss Jones, all right, and she should already in the email the confirmation you send out. That's very important on virtual demos. In your training manual on the virtual demo approach, underneath the approach, it has an email. Type it up one time, save it so you can copy it and send it to your other future virtual demo customers. And at the bottom of that, you want to include the website and ask them to please load the website five minutes before our demo starts. Now, most of the times they won't do that, and that's okay. But for the off chance that they do, it'll speed up the process. So you go ahead and call Ms. Jones. Hey, Ms. Jones, how you doing? It's Taylor calling you for the virtual demo. You excited, ready to go? All right, good, Ms. Jones. So why don't you go ahead and hop onto your computer. Just let me know when you're there, and then we can dive in. Perfect. All right, Ms. Jones. So first thing you want to do is open your internet browser. And when you walk your customers through this, the hardest, most difficult change or part of a virtual demo is simply getting them on the site. If you can do that, you're golden, all right? If your customers can click the space bar, they can do a virtual demo, but you wanna be very, make it very simple for them to use and very simple for them to do. So walk them through the process step by step and you'll usually not have any issues so long as you go slowly with them. Make sure you're speaking over the phone. So you wanna be clear when you're giving instructions and make sure you're speaking and enunciating your words appropriately. So Ms. Jones, go ahead and open your browser. I like Google Chrome, they can use whatever they have. Is it open, Ms. Jones? Okay, perfect. Now click where you usually type in the website, the bar on the top, and type for me view, V-I-E-W, cutco, C-U-T-C-O, dot com. Make sure to spell that out for them, okay? And it should pop up with a virtual demo page. Ms. Stone says online demo, and it says cutco on the top with like a little start prezi and kind of a play button in the center. Do you see that? All right, Ms. Jones, we're on the same page. So Ms. Jones, you know, let's set this thing up here. Uh, go ahead and press the Start Prezi button, and it should be loading like a little blue line. Once that blue line is done loading, Ms. Jones, it still has to load the videos. So let's just give it a second to get going. That way it'll be faster throughout the process. How's your day been? And that's when you want to build rapport. Okay, so once you get them on the site and the site is loading, you'll notice at the bottom it had that little ring that was uh, kind of spinning. So you can go ahead and uh, watch that, and once that's done, it should be loaded. But understand everybody's internet and computer speeds are going to be differently. Are going to be different, so you want to spend five to ten minutes building rapport with them right here before you dive in. Now, when you're ready to go, here's how you set it up. So, Miss Jones, on the bottom right-hand corner, go ahead and click that button. That kind of makes it full screen. You see the square button on the corner, and when you have your mouse over, it should say full screen. Go ahead and click that, and then it's going to have a button that's going to ask you to allow. That's just going to let you use the keyboard, Ms. Jones, so go ahead and click allow for me. Perfect. We're ready to go. If you can get your customers to this point, they're done. All they have to do now is press the space bar, and it's easy and ready to go. Um, so, Ms. Jones, now this next part is something you might want to write down uh, because it is uh, a very important part to the virtual in setting it up. Ms. Jones. You know, don't use your mouse, okay? The mouse is going to throw off the presentation, and then I can't find where you're at, and it just makes everything take longer. So, you know, it's going to be way quicker, Ms. Jones, if you just use your space bar. So when I say click next or press space, just press your space bar. It's the biggest bar on the keyboard, um, and it's automatically going to take you to the next slide. Cool? Perfect, Ms. Jones. So let's dive in. Let's test this out. Go ahead and press space, and it should zoom you into the guy with the puzzle piece. Do you see that? All right, perfect, Ms. Jones. And one little line I like to throw in here is, as I'm building my goals and building up my goals, I'm like, Ms. Jones, and you see that red puzzle piece? Yeah, it's the one piece this little nice little stick figure needs to hit his goal. And for me, just by helping me out with this demo, you're getting me one step closer. You're like that puzzle piece. So I really appreciate it. Thanks again for seeing me. Ms. Jones, go ahead and press the space button. This is our All-American Scholarship. And you talk about your scholarship right here. When you're ready to move into company, you're going to tell them, Ms. Jones, go ahead and click Next. 
And on the top of the company page, when it asks the customer to grab their junk knives and it asks the customer to grab their uh, both their junk knives um, and a shiny penny, obviously they won't need a penny, but you still want them to grab their knives so they know what they have and they can compare it to what you're about to show them throughout the demo. Also in there, you might want to write into your manual for them to add uh, to grab a pen and paper as well. Anything in your demo that you write down, you want to make sure your customers write down as well. And when you're asking them to write things down, again, say it slowly. And I encourage you to write things at the same time. Because if you're writing while they're writing, it's going to give you a better idea as to how long it's going to take them to write. That way you're not moving too fast for them. Um, another big thing on virtuals is there's a lot of videos. You don't need to show the full videos every time. If you did, that would take 30 minutes by itself. So just show enough of the video that they get the idea and click next. And then always talk through the videos. And that's so important, I'm going to say it again. Always talk through the videos. Um, and so that way, there's no awkward silences as you're going through um, the virtual demo. So when I get to the company page, before I start talking about the company, Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next for me. This is one of my favorite parts of the virtual demo. It's got the Modern Marvel video in it right there. And that's going to establish so much credibility. You can see... On the bottom right, it's going to show the History Channel logo, which again, I think is great for adding credibility. And I always have them lower the volume because I want them to focus on my words and what I'm saying, not necessarily what the video is saying. The purpose of the Modern Marvels video is to establish credibility. It doesn't really matter what it's saying, okay? What matters is that, it's, that we're on Modern Marvels. I hope that makes sense. Now, if the customer's into it, they like Modern Marvels, their favorite show, or they want to see the video, obviously show it to them. You know, if it's up to me, I'd show all the videos for everything with my customers. But just to save time, I don't always do that. You know, I just kind of click through once they get the idea. So right here, I'd be talking about the company. So Ms. Jones, as far as the company goes, you know, I'm sure you're familiar how some companies are owned by larger corporations and Vector is no different, right? And I go through, um, I go through the company page. We've been around since 1949, $250 million in sales while this video is playing. As I move into the scissor cutting, I'm going to say, Ms. Jones, are you ready to see a product that really demonstrates the quality of Cutco? All right, go ahead and click next. And it's going to pull up the scissors, okay? And it's really important you're excited on this portion of the demo because, again, they're not seeing it live. So you want to share the experience of maybe the first time you saw the penny cut, maybe the first time you cut the penny, but get fired up and get excited because a lot of your communication has to do with body language, and you won't have that on a virtual demo. So you want to make sure that you're overemphasizing and getting extremely excited because when it translates over the phone, by the time they hear it, you know, it's just going to sound excited and not crazy. A person that's sitting next to you while you're doing the video should think you're crazy because on the other side of the line, again, it's just going to come off as excited. So make sure you're overemphasizing and being overenthusiastic as you go through the virtual demo. So Ms. Jones, you get the idea. The scissors are great. Go ahead and click next for me. And you go into junk knives. Now on the bottom of your junk knife page, it has the junk knife equation. That would be the first thing I'd have my customer write down on the page. Some customers are crazy and like to take notes, and if that's them, great. I'm going to have them take notes on everything. But I'm definitely going to make them write down the junk knife equation, and I'll kind of um, you know, tell them exactly what it is. And again, I'll write it as I ask them to write it down, so that that way you know, I know how long it's taking them to write. Also on this page, we talk about the importance of the junk knife fa face on a live demo, you want to have that same junk knife face on your virtual demo because it's going to be translated into your voice. You know, and you can really hear the difference. Ms. Jones, it absorbs the moisture from your hands, the blood from the chicken, like everything it comes in contact with. And you should overemphasize your facial expressions to better translate that into your voice so your customers can get the message. So Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next for me. And you go into your features and benefits just like you would on a live demo. Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next again. And it's going to show a video of the rope cutting. So when you go into cutting the rope, just like it is in your manual at the same exact time as it is in your manual, you just walk through exactly what's happening in the video. So Ms. Jones, you can see what he's going to do is cut through a straight, uh, cut through a rope with a straight edge knife. And you'll see how it gives kind of a smooth cut, but it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. Now he's going to cut with the serrated. Those are the ones that kind of cut with the points. And Ms. Jones, you know how serrated knives kind of rip and tear at your food. Yeah, we'll see that on the, on the rope. You know, it's cutting a little bit better. But you see how it rips and tears uh, and tears, doesn't give you a good brain. clean cut. And now Ms. Jones, he's going to use the Cutco. And with the Cutco, you're going to see how he's going to get it in like one clean stroke. Isn't that sweet, Ms. Jones? Clean cut. I bet you don't have knives that cut like that, huh? All right, well, Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next for me. Let me show you why it cuts so well. 
This is our double D edge. And you explain the double D edge. It's got a great video with the three cutting surfaces right here. Um, or a great, not video, excuse me, a great picture. So Michonne, those are the features that really make Cutco the best. But let me show you why everybody chooses to invest in it. Go ahead and click next for me. It's our guarantee. And you walk through the guarantee. Now, an important thing to do on this page when it comes to the guarantee is that with the 15 days money back guarantee, because it's a virtual demo, we give our customers 30 days to try it, make sure that they love it. If they don't absolutely love it, they get a full refund on their small deposit. So, you know, one line I always love to say when I before I tell them about the 30 day money back guarantee, I'm like, the fact of the matter is, Ms. Jones, Cutco can show you better than I can tell you. And that's why we allow our customers to try it out for 30 days. All you got to do is put down a small one-fifth, 100% refundable deposit. You can try out anything and everything you want, and you have 30 days to try it with your spouse. Make sure you both love it. At the end of it, you can make a decision. You can pay it off at the end of the month, or you can just keep making equal payments for the next five months. And I promise you won't remember what you paid for Cutco today in 50 years while you're still using it. Um, it's some pretty great stuff. So let me show you some customers that have really taken advantage of our guarantee. Go ahead and click next. And this video I love. It's going to have a bunch of video testimonials of Cutco's the customers talking about how much they love their Cutco knives. The and this is one thing I would talk about any stories right here that you might have of customers. Maybe your parents own Cutco or you ran into a Cutco owner your first weekend um, that you can really share the story of how long they've had it and how much they love it. And when the video gets about halfway through, I like them to listen because the second half of it's pretty powerful. And that's actually the only video on the entire demo that I actually let them listen and there's actually a little bit of silence on when I'm doing the virtual because of how you know powerful what the customers are saying is. So I'm gonna go through the virtual demo and Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next. Then I'm gonna go through my names and uses. And right here, let me back up real quick. On this page, okay, the this is where I would introduce what the names and uses are. So that paragraph on the top of names and uses, you wanna say it while you're right here. And once you go into the pairing knife, Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next. It's going to zoom into that pairing knife, and it's going to have a video. So Ms. Jones, click next again, and here's where I'd start talking about the pairing knife. So Ms. Jones, what do you notice is a little bit different about this pairing knife? You see how long that handle is? Yeah, no more of the short, stubby handle that kind of, you know, cuts into your, um, that cuts into your hand, or, or digs into your palm, excuse me. And you go through all your names and uses right here as the video is playing. Um, once you're done talking about your names and uses, you don't need to watch the whole thing. When you're done with your names and uses for that tool, Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next. You get the idea and click to the next one. Now, if they're really excited and want to watch the video, they definitely can. You're going to go through your trimmer. And again, Ms. Jones, you ever cut a tomato with a dull knife? And again, that junk knife face there as well. Um, yeah, never again with your trimmer. You're going to get paper thin slices. Check out how sweet those cuts are. You see how thin that is, Ms. Jones? Isn't that cool? Yeah, Ms. Jones, I remember the first time I cut a tomato, right? And I'll give an example or give a story right there because, again, stories are real. People don't eat rope and leather, okay? They want to see food being cut. And so as powerful as the rope and leather tests are, you know, you want to get them excited about the food cutting and really share stories about how you first used Cutco or if your family's had Cutco. That's a real important thing to implement into names and uses. Go ahead and click next for me, Ms. Jones. And I'm going to go through all my tools just the same way. So you have videos for everything except for the master carving set. Um, with the master carving set, you won't actually have a video for it. Um, but again, everybody knows how to use a master carving set, and it's in your manual if you ever forget. So you're going to click through, and you'll have the leather test, and it'll cut the leather for you. And I think the leather test is great here. This is actually how I do my leather test on my demos, so you guys can watch that and check it out. And you go through your entertainer pack. And again, you have a video for your entertainer pack. And make sure you tell your customers to click. Don't forget and click without them. And then they're on a different page. So you're going to talk about all the tools in the entertainer pack. Just read from your manual. You also have additional names and uses in the back of your manual for every single tool that Cutco makes. Get them very excited about the vegetable peeler. I think that's huge on a virtual demo. So you can utilize their excitement for the virtual for the vegetable peeler to get more recommendations at the end. Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next for me. You got your wood blocks and trays, just like it talks about at the bottom of page eight. All of this is on the bottom of page eight, and you go into your price comparison. So here's where you want to start nine and ten, and you start talking about nine and ten. And when you get to the bottom of page nine, and it says five thousand dollars, have them write it down. So Ms. Jones, at double the quality and double the value, if it lasts twice as long, you'd expect it to be twice the price, right? So at twice the price, you're talking over five thousand dollars for a set of Cutco. So go ahead, Ms. Jones, you have that pen and paper out. All right, write down 5000 for me. Just write it out. And let me show you what you get. So go ahead and click Next. And click Next one more time. 
And right there, you know, it does require two clicks, just a little hiccup, I guess, that it has. So make sure you're aware of that. You might want to write that on the top of page 10, two clicks. And you have your complete set. So this set is the best set for you to love to cook, love to entertain, understand they're going to buy it once, use it every day, and they're going to have these tools in their kitchen for the rest of their lives. Then we have our signature set. And that's the set to the right, Miss Jones. It's our medium family set for people to do an average amount of cooking. It brings the three cutting boards and the sharpener, just like the complete set. And it brings a couple of customer most requested tools. So in the signature set, Miss Jones, go ahead and click next for me. It'll start playing a video. These are the three tools that the signature set brings that don't come in the homemaker set, which are the pieces I already showed you. So this is our cheese knife. Talk about how great the cheese knife is. It has the hearty slicer and has the petite santoku. So I think that going through that is really important and watching this full video that will help you sell more signature sets and more complete sets. So go ahead and click next, Miss Jones. And again, that's a little bit different from the live demo, but again, a big benefit um, is having all these videos in here because on a live demo, you don't have all your pieces, right? You only have the paring knife, the trimmer, the spatula, or sorry, the paring knife, the trimmer, uh, the table knife, and the vegetable peeler. Of course, plus anything you may have won in your fast start, but on the virtual demo, you have every single tool. And that's a great benefit to the virtual demo, plus you can just read straight from the demo, from the manual. So these are our two most popular sets. There are plus eight and our basic. And you walk through the homemaker sets just like it says in your manual. Go ahead and click next for me, Miss Jones, with a first call special. Oh, and by the way, let me back up. You know, the beautiful thing about the homemaker, so if we're writing down prices, here's what my page 10 sounds like. Um, these are our two most popular sets. Our company's found one of these two sets appeals to pretty much everyone. The beautiful thing is that they're not over $5,000. So what I want you to do is take your pen, Miss Jones, and cross out $5,000. Did you get it? All right, perfect. The next number I want you to write, are you ready? Is three thousand three hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's three three two five, and that's our competitor's price. That's the Wusthof price I showed you earlier, Miss Jones. Now I want you to look at that number, and then I want you to cross it out, okay? Because Cutco doesn't even cost that much. Our homemaker preset plus eight, guaranteed forever. You're gonna have it in the kitchen for the rest of your life. Write down homemaker plus eight, Miss Jones. And again, I'm writing with them so I know more or less how long it takes. And the price for the homemaker is only eleven thirty-nine. And remember, Ms. Jones, with the interest-free investment options, you know, if you wanted to just put down the deposit and try it out today, underneath the 1139, I want you to write down 246, that's 246, and circle that. That's the deposit to try it out today. If you love it, you can make four equal payments of the 246, um, and if not, you can keep any of the pieces that you like and send back the rest. It's totally up to you, but for 246, you can try it out in your kitchen for 30 days. Worst case scenario, you have free cut for a month. Best case scenario, you have it, you love it, and you have it for the rest of your life. Next to the plus eight price, Miss Jones, I do want to show you the price on the basic homemaker set, which is the same as the homemaker, but it doesn't bring the table knives. So go ahead and write down basic for me. And then write down 1139, that's 1139. Or I'm sorry, it's 904, not 1139. So write down 904, underneath 904, write down the monthly price and circle that. Now let me explain our, now which, if Cuckoo were free, or I'm sorry, in a perfect world, Ms. Jones, which of these two sets did you like best? All right, perfect. Um, so let me explain our first call special. Go ahead and click for me. First call special allows me to give you free merchandise when you place an order on my first visit. So I can either give you the, the super shears, the penny cutting machine, right? The kitchen tools we were talking about, or the soup, or the um, entertainer pack for free. If you could pick, which of the three did you like best? They pick out their favorite, you have them write it down. So perfect, Ms. Jones. So next to that monthly price on the plus eight you said you liked, write down free shears and circle that or, or box that because you'd get those for free today just for just by trying out the set. And Ms. Jones, go ahead and, and that's, uh, so if I wouldn't be doing my job, Ms. Jones, if I didn't ask you this question, you want to go ahead and get the set today for 1139 or just put down the deposit and try it out. And there's your closing question for a virtual demo. Once you're done with that, it's just a matter of dropping down and finding what they liked. So if they're not excited about that, hey, Ms. Jones, no big deal. Go ahead and click next for me. And you're just going to read through your menu and show the galley. Once you're done showing the galley, I have my representatives pick the three to five favorites from the galley or the homemaker set. So I'd ask them right here what their favorite tools were. I'd have them write it down, right? And I'd write it down myself. And then I'd call my manager and get any deals or, or discounts. If they show you a starter set, Ms. Jones, go ahead and click next. The starter sets are right there, and so they can pick out the starter set they like best. 
and um, it's going to click through the starter sets, but not really necessary. You can just show them whichever one they liked. And when they're out here, okay, you can also drag this little guy around to find out exactly where you're at. Once you're here, they can click directly to the starter set that they like. It's the only time I might let them use the mouse. I may not even do that um, just because they always get lost and mess up and it's just weird. So you have the space saver set and you click through. And the last thing is just going to be to show all the accessories. And the accessories are right here. So you have the specialty knives. And again, all I'm doing is clicking and it clicks right through all of your gadgets and accessories. And you want to make sure to show them all of them because you never know what's going to stand out and what they're going to like. So if you're going to do a demo, you might as well do it all and show them everything because you never know what's going to stand out. You never know what they're going to want to invest in. So you want to make sure to do this on every demo you do. And that's it. Um, when you're done and it comes to getting recommendations, make sure you're using page 21A, not page 21. There is a difference. Um, you do not need to memorize page 21A because on a virtual you can just read it. But you do need to read it word for word. Also, you'll hear the objection. I'll, almost every time, I'll just email them to you and let them know, hey, Ms. Jones, you can definitely email them to me. Um, you can definitely email me a big list later on. But in order for them to count towards my sponsorship, I need to write down a few right now. And the objection, the way to handle the objection is right on your page 21. So if you look underneath the approach, it'll explain exactly the best way to handle that objection. And you can go from there. So that's basically a couple tips and a couple thoughts on the virtual demo. I encourage you guys to practice it two or three times before you do your first one so you're comfortable and confident with the way that it works. And make sure you're communicating with your managers about all of your appointments. So have a good one.